Hey everyone, congratulations to Game and Gladiators on winning their first major of the season. They have moved themselves closer to the international. Before we recap the Lima major, a lot of things have changed and will be changing in a patch that will happen in less than 24 hours from this video. First off, Val has removed the ability to access player profiles during the pre-game phase and will be accessible once the picking phase ends. This means it disables commands that third-party tools will be using. Hopefully this stops programs like Overwolf from giving players tips on picking or banning your favorite heroes. Let's see where this goes as the cat and mouse game continues. Even before the major ended, Lee Esports have already made changes. They welcomed two seasoned veterans, Daryl Ice 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 Cole and Dejarde DJ Mampusti to the team. Lee Esports finished 6th in the first DPC tour, just missing out on getting relegated. Nana Spencer also announced a new team. They picked up Division 2 runner-up Puck Champ who will be playing Division 1 in the Spring Tour. Navi will have two rosters. The team that just went into Division 2 will now become the Navi Junior roster, while the Puck Champ roster becomes the main Navi roster. Here's what Navi said in the press release. Today we are excited to announce the signing of the Puck Champ roster to represent the club in the first division. Our slot in the second division will be taken over by Navi Junior. We are certain our guys will welcome the opportunity to play against strong opponents to significantly accelerate their progress. A bit of sad news, Beyond the Summit has officially announced that they will release all of their employees with a two-week notice. 11 years of running tournaments in the esports industry, Beyond the Summit is stuck in the limbo due to financial instabilities. David L.D. Gorman said they had offers from venture capital but never went for them due to the community route they had laid its foundations on. BTS never took the venture capital approach. We have plenty of offers over the years, but as an organization born from the community, we value remaining grassroots and independent. There was never an opportunity that made sense for us, our people, and our community. BTS has been providing many tournaments for teams in the Americas and Southeast Asia region with their BTS Pro Series. This will hurt teams that don't play in Division 1 in the DPC Tour. LD ended by saying that they are exploring other paths, but states that he wants his employees taken care of first. We are open to exploring other paths, especially ones that will allow us to do right by our staff. On to the major, there were a lot of surprises and disappointments, but mostly surprised by the weak effort from some teams. Western European teams dominated with Team Liquid and Game and Gladiators topping their groups, and that's followed by Entity and Team Spirit from Eastern Europe. Into the playoffs, the biggest surprise was Entity 2-0-ing Evil Geniuses, then followed by Team Liquid 2-0-ing Talon Esports. That meant Evil Geniuses had to play against Beast Coast and the South American teams will have to eliminate each other on home soil. However, the lower bracket also meant the run for one of these teams and that happened to be Talon Esports. Talon took out Hellraisers 2-0 and then they had a 3 game run to defeat Team Spirit then followed by 2 0 wing Entity in a very convincing series. On the other hand, Shopify Rebellion got knocked down to a lower bracket by Team Liquid and found themselves facing their old organization against Evil Geniuses and the crowd was against them. Shopify barely won the series against Evil Geniuses. It came down to Talon against Shopify and Shopify looked shaky after game 1 against Stomp. Then they returned the favor in game 2 and while in game 3 it was a slow and steady for Talon to whittle Shopify away. Well. Roshan is up and well 23 Savage just does now tick into buyback. He didn't have it Q for a it on Arteezy. They try and turn see if they can get this kill. Is this really the play? 23 Savage he bought back and goes in. They want to end this game right now. They want to take down Abed. There's no they buybacks. find him on the map with no buyback. GG is called. Talon, your top 3 at the moment. Unbelievable performance from them. I mean, this was an absolute... In the upper bracket final, Team Liquid announced that Samuel Boxy Spawn had to exit the major due to health problems, and their analyst will take his place. It wasn't pretty for Team Liquid. They were the favorites, but after the series against Game and Gladiators getting stomped 2-0, they weren't. Team Liquid had to regroup and face Talon Esports in the lower bracket finals. They showed up to quickly 2-0 them and force a rematch against Game and Gladiators. Can it feel? Summer just in time! Save on the as well! 23 Savage, he's alive, he's proving he's the strongest score here. Late game TV, it's all about him. He has to heal, get his mana back. They have to fight, they don't have a choice. Oh, they got Kyo, Q's disintegrated! He has my back. Three on five, Auro. <laughs> Three on five. <laughs> they gotta get the best overgrowth of their life, but Mickey just turned into TB. He stole the meta, Q bumped back. One last team fight for the boys. 23 Savage. 
Mel about to end, so what can he just form the oh, disruptor? In. They want to get rid of the disruptor first, but it's not happening. They have him time. The Heaven Salbert annoys the TV, and now he's stuck in the Pango Roll. They forced him away, but the GG is called. The Ancient's being destroyed. Liquid. And they will beat Talon to... In the Grand Finals, it was a repeat of the Upper Bracket Finals. Team Liquid had no answers for Game and Gladiators. Gaiman swept them 3-0 to win the Winter Tour. Yeah, no, they're not. They got the Gleipnir on too, but the Snowball on through as well. They do manage to get the Telekinese tossed back away, but it leaves Zai dead in the river. Mickey's going to be slowed down by the Walrus Punch as well. The Ogre Seal Totem once again run. coming to play. He's going to throw some damage back at him. Where was that blast going? Well, it wasn't going anywhere. And neither is Liquid. They have been caught without buybacks. Game and Gladiators don't need to worry about the high ground anymore. There, the red carpet is rolled out for them, and Duraccio is going to blink right past it. He's going to teleport right past it and start laying into the tier fours right away. What is there to stop Lena? You let it through three times. You gave it to this man, and now he's got a major championship to hang on that fiery belt. Game and Gladiators will 3-0 Team Liquid to take the Lima Major. Game and Gladiators secure themselves 200,000 USD and 400 DPC points. Team Liquid wins 100 USD and 350 DPC points. After the payout, Team Liquid still leads everyone in DPC points. There are still two more tours to go. In the last two tournaments, Michael Nisha Jankowski has gone 0-6 in the Grand Finals, counting from the International and now Lima Major. Let's see what the next patch on March 6 will bring. Thanks for watching. We will leave you with a celebration. Like, share, and subscribe. A las lower brackets se fueron de frente. Vinieron acá con una mentalidad con ganar, con llevarse hasta Lima Major. Vinieron desde las upper brackets, se mantuvieron ahí. Y pues nada, ya están a punto de agarrar el trofeo de esta Lima Major. Una Major que se ha hecho por primera vez en Sudamérica en la historia. Yes. La verdad es una fiesta.